You see, this idea that people are sinners, they're depraved and all that, that's a belief in separation from God. God is love and that love is expressing in and as you and in and as me. And it doesn't play favorites. It's a principle, it's a law, like gravity. If a person steps off a cliff, they're gonna fall down. That's the way the law works. Two plus two is four. That's the way the law of math works. God, spirit, is a principle that is love. And it's always seeking to bless us if we don't make it too hard for it to do so. Through negative thinking, through negative behaviors. You know, if all we're doing is stuffing our face with junk food, then how do we expect health and vitality and energy? not God's fault. God is always seeking to express more fully his life, love, wisdom, power, and all good. But people frustrate that from happening. Jesus the Christ said, it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It's the Father's good pleasure to love you, to bless you, to bring good into your life. And it's always seeking to happen. Before I was ever on the spiritual journey, good things were happening. I'm sure for you too. Why? Because I was in tune in some way. And even when we're sort of out of tune, good things happen. Why? Because as the scriptures say, spirit is in all and through all. As again, Apostle Paul said, nothing can separate you from the love of God. You're never separate. So the key is to, to know that Spirit's love is right where you are. It's, it's another dimension of you. It's at the center of your being, expressing as you. And when you get still and quiet and open to it, you can feel that inner well-being. You can feel that inner wellspring of peace. You can feel that inner wellspring of joy. You can feel that inner wellspring of God's living vital energy expressing in and through and as you it's always there just we just have to lift up the shades you know think of a sunny day if it's real sunny outside the sun is shining but you can't feel it if the shades are drawn you have to lift up the shades i remember in ministerial school back in 1992 or so i was uh thinking about, it suddenly dawned on me that I was blocking the flow of God's love through beating myself up, through putting myself down. And I realized, you know what? That's not necessary. That's not necessary. Um, I can grow through being kind to myself. I can unfold my potential by loving myself. Now, when you hear that term, loving myself, some people feel uncomfortable with it. They're afraid they're gonna become arrogant. They're afraid they're gonna become stuck up, better than other people. But what really happens is, when you feel good about yourself, you project that to other people. When you feel loving to yourself, you feel loving about other people. It's when people feel hateful toward themselves and feel hated by others, that they express that hate to others. There's a coldness within them. Why? Because they frustrated God's love at the center of their being. That's where love begins. But if you're blocking it, if we block it, we can't feel it. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. You've got to love yourself before you can love others. You've got to receive God's love within you. You've got to be kind and gentle to yourself. When we make mistakes, when we do things that we regret, when we live less than our best, we've got to love ourselves. I used to think that I had to constantly criticize myself in order to grow. Now I realize that my growth is not my doing. Growth is letting God unfold through and as you. The more you discover your love, the love that's your being, the more you're growing. 
It's like an acorn with sunshine and water grows to become an oak tree. You are the image of God. You are God being you. And when you love yourself, you just help that seed of the divinity, the Christ within you, the spirit within you, expressing as you to unfold. That's what happens. It's effortless. We've got to make the effort to, to know that truth, to affirm that truth for ourselves. So receive God's love.